out. It was as expected. The stuff in the dryer needed some uh, additional time. I may have overpacked it a little. Just a little. Tiny little bit. So let's see, I think. So. <clears throat> got soul sand around the side. There's some brick. Oh, I got way more than I needed. So if we do as such. Hmm. Apparently it works, although you can't see the thing. I thought you could. I guess it's at the very bottom. Does that affect anything? Maybe. Maybe not. I guess I'll put this here. Not sure where else to put it. Well, we got so much soul sand. I'm going to need to pulverize all that, I think. We'll start with that. Still so much to do. It'll take some time. Man. Look at that glass. I'll probably leave it in there. Till I get applied energistics going. Yeah, speaking of. That witch is still there. I need that one, uh... Yeah, nether quartz thing. Two nether quartz, iron ingot, and sticks. A singular ingot. that ready. I want some some basic storage. I think hmm. I don't know. I think I might just want to go with some 4Ks. But I'll need to make some of the other stuff first. Ah, we'll need to make quartz glass. So yeah, we'll have to wait until this stuff gets uh, gets pulverized. I have enough. I have enough glass. That's for sure. Fluix, duct, nether quartz, redstone, and a crystal. So 
certainly have the redstone for it. Make more than I need. So that's going to need to be pulverized. Entropy manipulator. That's a weird thing. A lot of this stuff I'm probably not going to mess with. I will need the energy acceptor. So yeah, going to need to make a ton of quartz glass. Just so I can have it all. Need a drive. That's going to require some diamonds. Some cable. So yeah, glass and dust. I have plenty of that down there. Now if I want to like... Pre-format, I've never done that before. Oof, that requires two drives. Some cable. Logic processor. Silicone is just smelting the dust. Man, that dust is important. Inverted toggle bus? No, I, I need a... Just a regular toggle bus, right? Oh, I see. Okay. Redstone lever and more of this stuff. Need enough magma cream? <laughs> I, I, am I even going to need that much for anything? Mob duplicator. Make it for the gun. I'll need it for some things, but not a lot. use it for brewing. That's something. I can have all the blaze powders and slime balls I want. Alright, so those Fluix crystals... I just want to confirm that uh, I don't need them for anything, really. Well, that I'll definitely make. So I won't pulverize them all. I will do most of them. Let's do it after the quartz. And I'll save these. Looks like all the glass is done. 
And that's getting started. Once the stack is finished, I'll make some quartz glass. Would help if I open that first. Forty each do for now. It's quartz glass with the dust and that. Is there anything I can use to make right now? Dust and regular glass. I will need those. I'll need more than that, but still. Need the redstone. Let's see. Bring things with me that I think I'll need. We'll need emerald, we'll need diamond. Uh, what else? Sardis quartz. Bring a whole stack of it. What else? What do I need for the energy acceptor? Iron. Crystal, I have that. So this, I'll have to make a couple drives, so I'll need to make three. Two for this and one for actual storage. That's where the diamonds come in handy. Need more iron, working on the redstone. So yeah, I should bring a good amount of iron. So now, making the 4K, redstone, quartz, glass. I want to make a couple of these. Hey, what's up, Mr. Still Your? Welcome back. Getting some basic applied energistic storage started. So I want to make sure I have everything on me. I don't think I'm going to need quite that much redstone on me. But I want to have plenty. And let's ditch this sand in here for now. I got stuff in my mining backpack. Completely forgot. What's in there? Nether things. Oh, good. We'll get these ready to go. We'll do the diamond and the emerald. Glowstone. Oh, that was from my... my thing. Take it? Okay. I mean, you're not wrong there. It is, it is easy to just give yourself items using cheats, but I don't have cheats enabled, but it kind of defeats the whole purpose of this playthrough for me. 
I don't even have cheats enabled anyway. This is meant to be a, a legit run trying not to die. And so far it's working okay. So we got a bunch of those. So what first? I guess it doesn't matter. Energy cell. I need the fluids. Fluix dust. Hasn't quite started that just yet. Soon though, it's next. It's next in line. So what can I do in the meantime? Oh, right, I need to make silicone. So I need to take some of this dust. In fact, I'm going to need, eventually I'm going to need a good amount of silicone, so maybe I can turn that, get all that into silicone. Take a bit of time. the toggle bus. I need a lever. The only thing. I need a stick. lever actually well I can do without it I think uh, well no just in case I ever need to cut the power for whatever reason keep forgetting if I put stuff in there okay they're empty Come on, crystals. I need you. Look at that silicon go. All right, I'm going to need... to make the crafting terminal thing. That requires a regular terminal, which requires an illuminated panel. Wait, hold on, let me take another look at that. Crafting terminal, which requires an ME terminal. Illuminated panel. I need... I have glow dust. Three is a bit overkill. But I'll probably need it for something else. So I need the cores. Formation core, which I need the gold processor. And then, what was the other one? Annihilation core. That also requires the gold. Processor. Ooh. 
gold ingots. Which of course I don't have. Can't wait to have all my stuff in one spot. Turn that into ingots while I'm doing all this. I think I put in a whole stack, yeah. And the other one will work its magic. Well. We're getting Fluix dust. Finally, I'll let this stack up a little. Emerald, you say? Don't mind if I do. Start off with 16. Okay. So let's see. I will need energy acceptor. So that it may accept the energy. Energy cell. Also necessary. Oh yeah. I'll need that, but I'll worry about that later. Space is a bit tight at the moment, so I need some gold processors. Here's the electric furnace. See, it does come in handy. these cores. Oh, I need two more then. I need two more of these. Hmm. I shift clicked it, but it didn't it didn't put like all of them in there. Why do you like this game? What have I done? Actually, I don't think I need more than that. Uh, of course. Another quartz. This stuff is so quartz heavy. Right. Let me satchel some things. Put a bag in a bag. Put my satchel in the satchel. Just in case I need more space. Right. Came for the quartz. Now I'll just take the whole 30. So I have formation, I need to make the annihilation. It's a lovely name. This one is the emerald one. Right, I need crafting bench. 
now. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to turn on the AC pretty pretty quick here. The fan is starting to blow warm air, which is not ideal. We got the crafting terminal now. Got some pulverized iridium. Right, so have the energy acceptor, the cell, that talk bus. So I need the drives, and I'm need I'm gonna need to make three of these. So I need six engineering processors. six of these bad boys. getting started with this stuff. Putting all this stuff together, it's satisfying. It may take a bit long, but it's satisfying. Putting this together with your hands. With your own two hands. So there's the three. So we got that. One for me, two for the I.O. port. And I need another logic processor. It's a bacon. It's a bacon. Delicious bacon processor. Need glass. Some standard glass. Lovely. Not 100% sure how this works and how to use it, but we'll see. I mean, I know I can pre-format drives, but I wonder if it has to be... Like, I'm sure it has to be connected to the power. That makes sense, at least. So we'll see once I get all that up and running. Uh, I'm gonna need some 4K drives, maybe a couple to start off with, and maybe a couple 1Ks so I can store, like, a plentiful amount of some items, I think is how you want to do it. Like, format one that holds, like, maybe dirt, gravel, cobblestone. And it'll hold just those, but it'll use up, like, a lot of it. So it'll store more, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. But if I, if I want to make two 4Ks, so I need six 1Ks. Which means I need six of these. I don't like how it, it doesn't do it all. When I shift click. It works on other things. Did I make one more than I needed, or did I just sidetrack myself again? I'll need it eventually. That'd be fine. shame this doesn't give me experience. 
It's a shame. It's a damn shame. Alright, so... Don't need seven. Just six will do. I need two of these. It's a good thing I did bring that much uh, redstone. I might need three 4Ks to start off with, actually. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe I can... I don't know. Maybe I will make a third one, and then... These ones hold... These drives hold... Eight. Hmm. So that's two. If I want to make one more... Two more of these. And then, actually, I'll need three more for three one Ks. Yeah, I may as well just make them now. Spider, what are you doing? Hurting yourself on my roof? I'm not liable. Don't sue me. your own damn fault. Alright, so... Let me do that. And I need three of these. Just enough redstone for the job? Two four Ks. Nope. Not enough. Only just. So we got the three. Three one Ks. Wait, so then. All right, I just confused myself. Why did I need these? Because I wanted three four Ks for the general storage, three one Ks for some specialized stuff, maybe. Just mainly for experimenting. I have them for future use. So now I need the actual drives. So 
iron, redstone, and quartz glass. I'll make three of those. Oh, right, they don't stack. Glowstone for now. And then the 4K. Three of them. Right, so let's go below and figure out how I want to set this up. Oh, I need to. I want to set up my ladder down here. I think it's four. Somewhere around there. That's good enough. You can jump it. Right, so. Should I put it? Where do I want to access it, I guess is the better question. I guess I can do it up there. Where do I want to access my storage? I guess right here, since it's in the middle, would make the most sense. I mean, all this stuff is going to be in there anyway, eventually. I think I was thinking of doing it here. Maybe. If I have, like, the grid coming up from here. right by the door, though. Well, let's see. So I think you actually want the energy acceptor first. Maybe run flux ducts underneath the ground. Hmm. How would this look like? So if I did that, put the energy cell there. Need my pick. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, game. Guess I'll use my unbreaking. So if I run the leadstone underneath, speaking of which, I'm gonna need it. such. Do it underneath like this so I can cover it. Uh, 
Uh, toss it down there. Cobblestone is something I have plenty of. Let's see. Flux ducts. Gonna need to make more. Need glass, redstone, which I have, and lead. Well, I have glass, it's just not on me. Do I need? Let's make. I'll make four batches of it. working. Well, damn. I need more range. <laughs> Pick up this stuff. Oh, no, I need more inventory. That's the problem. Alright, so if we do that. We can put the, uh, Toggle thingy there. The rest of that goes there. And then this can connect up to here. It's a bit weird, but... Uh, let's see. And then I guess, can I put the drive just there? It's also a bit weird, but... I guess I won't really need the toggle bus. I mean, power production is not really a problem at the moment. Especially once I up upgrade these machines. Starting off with the 4K, that'll be just generic storage. But... Alright, I think the toggle bus being there is off by default. So maybe I can just get rid of it for now. See what happens. So that's online. Power's going through. Crafting terminal will go up there. So just for the sake of curiosity. So you can transfer data to the storage cell. Or transfer it to the network. idea how any of this works. So I'm wondering, I've heard about pre-formatting, but I'm not 100% sure what actually does it. What are some of these? ME interface. Hmm. Not 
not sure what that does. Cell workbench. I see I'm not sure what that does either, but that could be useful. Need wool. I do have that. I think I can cover this up now. No, they disappeared. Yeah, eventually I'll redo this floor. That'd be fine. Yeah, I want to, you know, experiment a bit with pre-formatting and what actually does it. But I don't know what the ME interface does, and I don't know what the cell workbench does. So I guess I can use this opportunity to find out. For the sake of science. So I could store things now. I'll hold off though. Uh, what was it that I needed? So I have those cores. A chest and wool. I think I only have yeah, two wool. I just need one. Let's just see. We're experimenting. Could be a complete waste of resources, but it's okay. Need glass. So we'll put these down below and just have a look at what it does. I got recursive networking. I wonder if you can make a panel that goes over that. I think they're called covers. Stone cover. I don't think that'll look very good. There's something within AE that does it. I'm not entirely sure what it's called, but I think you can cover stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Yeah, no idea. It'll have to look terrible for now. figure something out. Right, so placement, I guess, doesn't matter. I'm just uh, experimenting, seeing what this stuff does. Config. Interesting. <clears throat> I still have no idea what this means. But we'll see. What's the workbench do? Workbench stuff. Configures partition based on currently stored items. Okay, so this is what I need, I think.
Controls if the contents of the configuration pane are cleared when you remove the cell. Hmm. So let's see then. If I want one of these 1Ks to store gravel, cobblestone, and dirt just so I can hoard all that stuff for whenever I may need it. And I'm sure there's the other two I uh, want like maybe a wider variety of stuff. Not 100% sure what exactly, but like I say, I'm just uh, messing around with stuff. Seeing what sticks. So like, if it works like it's saying, maybe I just need one of each. Maybe put sand in there too. Let's see what happens. I'm flying blind on this one. Right, so let's say I want a gravel, a dirt, a sand, and that. Included precise. So then if I clear that and put it in, there you go. Well, that seems straightforward. I guess we can... Okay. So this one in particular will be devoted entirely to those parts, so it won't take up the, uh, the 4K spot, and I can just have a shit ton of it. So, in which case... What else would I want to set these for? Hmm. Something to think about. Not 100%. But that's good. Put that one in right now. Put that shit in there. And this will just be general mishmash of things. And these ones I'll partition at a later date. Because I think I've just hit the five hour mark. And since I do have uh, laundry to do and I have to edit this VOD and get my previous one up. This might be a good spot to end it on. Not 100% what this is for, but I guess I'll leave it. I guess this doesn't need to be attached to the power. Fair enough, but I guess I'll leave it there. I'm guessing that one is orange because it's partitioned. Maybe, and I guess this will, this can come in handy. Maybe if I want to upgrade, like, upgrade certain uh, cells, the drives. I don't know, not 100%. But we got a Coke oven. We got a blast furnace, which actually I should have been making cold coke during all this. Should have been doing that. But yeah, I got some stuff done. We got lava power going. We got this going. 
we're beginning applied energistic storage. And I think... So tomorrow I will be able to stream again, likely. Likely. I shouldn't, I shouldn't guarantee anything. But I think in between streams, while I'm like editing video and stuff, I'll, uh, I'll move over my storage into here. You know, clean up some stuff. I I'll leave this like this for now. Yeah. Can always fix it later. But I'll, uh, smelt some cold coke. I'll probably get some steel going. I am going to need a lot of steel for the future, provided I don't die. And I guess I'll have to figure out my converting RF to uh, industrial craft energy. So I can get the big, uh, the big factories going. The big machines. That's going to be expensive. So we'll see what happens. But I'm pretty satisfied with uh, my progress today five hours. I do play this very slowly. But, uh... I am happy. Happy with how this world is turning up, which is only going to make me feel so terrible when, it, when I die. At which point... I'm almost tempted to undo that death. You know, turn this world back into a normal world and just keep going with it and just... Have it no longer be a hardcore run? Oh, hey, what's up, Archippy? You know, I was just thinking of winding down. Was getting ready to wind down for the day. But, uh... Yeah, not much is going on with me. What's going on with you? How is everything? How's life treating you? And yeah, you caught me during sort of my, uh, my ending ramblings. Oh, everything's falling apart. Oh, no. Oh. You had me freaking out for a second. <laughs> well, it's good to hear everything's fine. That is good to hear. I'll tell you what's not good to hear. That witch outside... It's not good to hear that. But yeah, I've been uh, streaming the last five hours. I got I got lava pumping in from the nether. I'm producing RF energy. I have a few chests up here that can uh, pulverize some stuff for me. Send it up to that chest. And then a separate chest, which goes down to these redstone furnaces. And pumps those items back in here. So my... My upper floor is not cluttered. But it's still nice and open. And we still got work going. This I still want to cover. I want to figure out how to do that. Figure something out. Figure something. I think first, though, I want to figure out what I want to format these for. Not 100% sure how the best way to do it is. Maybe... Maybe that's something I'll look up. See what other people suggest. The best way to do that. Oh, look at that. Look at that organization. Feels good. And then I'm soon to be uh, removing all of these. And shoving it in the storage down there. And that'll be okay. I wonder... Maybe I should use... Maybe I should format some of these drives for... ores and ingots. That I can just... Absolutely hold just an... A crap ton of them. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it is the tidiest box of dirt pulverized things ever. 
this bottom part is sort of all over the place, but this stuff is good. I like to keep things a little organized. A place for everything and everything in its place. Man, that is... I'm gonna have so much iron. It's ridiculous. And I think, actually, I don't want to pulverize that. Because I needed some... I needed rich slag for something. Oh, yeah, it was for, um... It's for this stuff. I don't know if I'll be messing with this, though. At least not... Immediately. It's useful for induction smelting. Yeah, 75% of getting rich slag from gold ore, but you need cinnabar. Which is different from the cinnabar ore. You get it from redstone. Stabilized. Oh yeah, not bad. It's things to think about. But yeah, like I say, I'll probably figure all this stuff out in between this stream and the next stream. I'm hoping next stream will be tomorrow. It won't be as long as this stream. Because I got some place to go tomorrow, but... I'm hoping there will be a stream nonetheless. <laughs> Looks like all this is finished. Look at that. We got so much lead, silver, platinum, lapis, magma cream, copper. And I got a bunch of glass in here. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. So, I think I will go ahead and call it there. It is past lunchtime, and I'm starting to get pretty hungry. And I will, uh, for the rest of the day, I'll work on editing this VOD and all that fun stuff therein. So, yeah. As always, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Minecraft.